today we are beginning our last project of the felt plush unit, which is creating a more complicated three-dimensional plush, probably a dinosaur. I have two different patterns printed out. One is the Brontosaurus, the other is the Stegosaurus. If you're wanting to make something different and you're not trying to get quite so Jurassic, then you can find one on Pinterest. Um, it would look a little something like this. You inbox it to me on canvas and then I can print that off for you. Of these two patterns, I'm gonna walk through how to make the Brontosaurus because that is the one that people tend to really wanna make. So if you wanna make the Stegosaurus or something else, then I can definitely help you with the individual steps, how to think through the process. But this video is gonna cover old Bronte. Supplies wise, you need the pattern, two different colors of felt, some white embroidery floss, your needle, and some scissors. Now with the colors of felt, I would recommend picking the color that you want and then white for the underbelly, but you know, different strokes. As long as they're two different colors, that's fine with me. Now, before I get into it, I wanna make note of something on the pattern. On the little leg bits, it says to cut out this oval. We are not going to do this because it tends to go horribly wrong, so we will leave the underbelly nice and solid. Like before, we will cut out all of the pieces and trace them using a pencil. Now, like I said, I'm using white for my secondary color, so I will trace the underbelly and the six little spots on this one. On my primary color, I will trace the main dinosaur shape and this mysterious pointy shape, which will be the forehead. When you trace the dinosaur shape, make sure to flip it over the second time so that it is the mirror image of the shape. To start out, we will line up the underbelly with a dinosaur shape. Make sure that the little pointy bit is at the tail end and the long rectangular bit is going alongside the neck, like so. I will have some pins at my desk so that you guys can pin the legs down and this is so they don't move as you sew it. So like before, make sure that the trace side is facing out for both pieces. Now what we will do is begin at this pointy bit, attaching the belly to the tail. Go around both legs and all the way up to the top of the neck and fasten off. When you are all done, it should look like this. Then do the same for the other shape. Once you have reached this point, this is about what it should look like. The underbelly is attached to the tail and the sides and all up the neck. Next is shaping the head. Now what I like to do first is whip stitch this to the top of the underbelly piece. Trace side facing out, I attach the flat side with the flat side. Then I blanket stitch all around the sides like so and fasten off. You can really start to see the head forming even though there's this ridge and it's looking a little bit messy right now. This point is also as good a time as any to add the safety eyes. So go into your little baggie and pull out both eyes eyes and both fastens. I like to place my safety eyes right about here and I mark it with a pencil before making a hole. Once this is established, get your needle and pierce through both pieces of felt at once and sort of wiggle it around and around until you have a decently sized hole. Then you put the safety eyes in with the screw end facing out. And that is really important because remember, we still need to turn this inside out before we're actually looking at what we will when it's all finished. Before we turn it inside out, we need to do one last seam at the bottom of the tail using the blanket stitch. So starting at the end of the underbelly triangle and ending at the tip of the tail, we will blanket stitch this together. Now it is time to turn everything inside out and our dinosaur is really starting to look like a dinosaur now. We're gonna get a little bit of stuffing for the head and the four little feet and stuff those first. Now, I find that using the back of a, a pencil really works well as a stuffing stick to get that stuffing into those little nooks and crannies. When that is all done, we will whip stitch all the way from the back of the head, down the neck, and back to the tip of the tail, stuffing as you go. So you stitch a little bit, stuff a little bit, stitch a bit, stuff a bit, etc until you fasten off the tail. Then last but not least, you will get the hot glue gun and add on these little scaly bits that are a really nice finishing touch. And I made this little guy so many times that I wanted to add another something special. So I just made a little party hat and put it on him like it's this Brontosaurus's birthday, birthday Bronte. And that is all for this felt plush unit. As I had mentioned, I'm here to help you guys with anything that you need. Um, these videos are just here as a supplementary resource that you can reference at any point in time during the project or after the class is over, whenever you like. And next time we are going to be starting our embroidery unit. What you doing in the club on a Thursday? She said she only here for a girl birthday. They